welcome back. Today we are going to show you how to remove and uh, replace, actually replace the broken, uh, the melted ends as you can see on airbag. If the car was in a collision and the driver's side, the steering wheel airbag went off, uh, most likely, it is very likely, 90% of the time that the, the wire ends, those plastic clips right here, they will be melted. And in order to replace those, you have to buy the whole cork spring, which is pretty expensive, guys. It can run somewhere from 100 and uh, probably 10, 20 bucks, all the way to four, five hundred dollars. And we'll show you how to actually do the repair, replace those, and it will cost you only about four, five dollars, guys. And you can save so much money. Okay, uh, what we're doing here? That's a Mazda 2012 Mazda 3. Uh, it's a very rare car, it comes uh, with, you can see, with the premium leather seats and stuff. And those are the replacement okay, airbag wires that we bought on eBay. And we got those for $4.80 guys, right here. And we'll show you how to install those and pay only less than 5 bucks to repair your airbag instead of, instead of paying hundreds of dollars. Okay guys, we fixed we fixed one of the wires already, one of the plugs right here. So we're going to show you on the other one, but it's identical for both, but there is no, no reason to waste your time watching both of them. And as you can see, those are round ones. Ours, you need to be careful which one you get, but uh, even, even if you don't get the right ones, we will show you how to fix it. Now that plug right there, if you pull this thing up like that, all the way up, and you press right there the little, okay, the little teeth on the side. You can actually pull the yellow thing out. So you need to, you need to grab it with your fingers and you need to pull on it, okay? And the yellow thing will come out. Once you pull it out on the back, you need to open these two things towards the outside, okay, like that. Okay, and you can, you can open it. And that's where the wires are now, guys. So now you can just go ahead and uh, with the help of a little screwdriver or a knife you can pull them out one at a time okay like that and we have them out of there now guys and you need to you need to make sure how the wires are you need to take a picture before you remove them from the original plugs be because you need to put them in the same order ours uh, when it's plugged to the airbag, it needs to be this way, so uh, the blue one needs to be out and the white one needs to be out on the other one. Now we're going to cut the ends of those, okay? So that way we don't have to do any soldering or anything like that. So we'll, we'll make them the way they were original, okay? Now we need to peel the wire a little bit. And uh, we'll show you, you need to do that with the knife. But you need to take that piece from the connector that you're installing because it might be a little bit different and install it so the wires can go through it so they don't touch each other okay you can see it just it just needs to go there like that and push them out okay now you need to strip the wire the end of the wire that's where we will be uh, using the connector we will make the wire like that about five millimeters shorter than original one but uh, that's, that's not a big difference at all. It's, uh, it's a stationary wire, it's not moving, it's behind the airbag, so it will not have any tension on it. Okay, and you need to turn those like that so the wires don't come out, okay. Okay, now if you get the knife, you can open that connector here, okay, the end of the wire. We'll show you on this one now how to do it. You just need to get a small, small knife and you need to pry those things okay like that and just pull it out guys uh, what you need to do you can see you can just feed the wire through the hole there okay and you need to use the pliers now to get it really tight there so it's not loose okay it goes you need to make sure all the wires go in nothing sticking out okay you can even use uh, the little knife to help push them if you need to and then with the pliers you just need to squeeze a little bit okay almost there and again you need to install them in the same order that they were 
before because otherwise it's a very dangerous thing you can deploy the arrow back in your face okay and that's that's what they look like they're ready to go now guys okay now what you need to do uh, you need to make sure again that you put them right and you need to feed them through the holes there okay you just push down until it locks okay we'll get both of them in and then we'll push down Okay, you can. Those are those are pretty tight because they're supposed to have no play at all inside. Okay, almost there, and now you need to install that that uh, bushing spacer thing there, whatever it's called. So you need to push in a little bit, make sure it's good, locks there. Okay, like that, and now you need to close it until it clicks. Okay, you need to make sure the wires go in the holes. And now you need to get that yellow piece and just push down, guys, like that. And you need to pull it up to be to be open so you can install the airbag. And we're going to go ahead and install them now. Uh, all we have to do is just push down. Okay. Until it locks there. Make sure it's tight. And then the other one. That uh, the original one was yellow, but in our case the yellow one will be black, this one, because the replacement is a different color. And again you need to unlock the top piece and just push it in until it clicks and then push the yellow piece in. Okay. Okay guys, now let's see if everything works as it's supposed to. That's the moment of the truth, okay. Let's see now, just stand out of the way, it's a little bit... Spooky. Okay, we'll turn the key on. It's not deployed yet. And we had the, the seat belt fixed as well, you can see, guys. Okay, let's fire up. And there is no airbag light at all, guys. So it works great. Let's turn it off now. Okay, let's see if the light works. Yep, right there, as you can see, the airbag light stays on. And then it will go off. Which is perfect, everything works guys. Okay, as you can see, that's how we fix the wires. Pretty simple procedure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. We have a new video on our channel every day.